Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Young Buck with No Bucks, Justin Bieber's Drug Mule, another artist takes a chop at 6ix9ine, Meek Mill's Dirt Under His Nails, the Snoop Dogg Rock with Rats, Gucci Mane calling for all out war and Wayne addressing Nikki after trolls. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news, y'all. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to like the channel, man. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit that like in advance because you know it helps us out. And much love to all those that support us in the comments. Now. First up on deck is Young Buck, who in addition to filing for bankruptcy, has on the No Jumper podcast explained that he is broke for real for real. Bankruptcy papers have indicated that Young Buck has approximately $100, yes, you make more money than Young Buck at this point, and $100 in jewelry to his name. Now reports also indicate that Young Buck is living, get this, off of his girlfriend knocking him out of the requirements for a lady like b simone who we all know has recently shut down all nine to fathers yo young buck states he made thirty five thousand dollars from music alone but that one hundred and six thousand dollar child support payment don't give a what about that now lil twist comes in second and our stories for today for playing himself by stating that his career was permanently marred by the likes of Justin Bieber and his team when he claimed that he was a drug mule of sorts for the artist so that the Biebs could remain spotless in the limelight. Yo, Lil Twist stated on the Say What podcast that, quote, I still love Justin to this day, but his team had their knee metaphorically on my neck. He didn't just say that, did he? For years, just so they could keep Justin clean. I took that heat. If they would have put weed charges on Justin in his early career, it would have been bad on him. Would it have, though? The Twister continued explaining his silly position by stating, quote, So I got a call one day saying, Twist, do you really love this kid? I said, yes. They said, cool. If you love him, then we're going to take then we gonna take the heat for him. Or you're going to take the heat for him because you could come off with a little weed charge. You're associated with Lil Wayne. You're a rapper. It got to the point where I didn't even have to be there at times. And they would still say, Twist did it. Twist did it. Twist did it. It became overwhelming. It got out of hand. Close quote. Can you imagine the cops showing up at the door talking about Justin Weed's charges to you? You'd be like, man, that damn Justin using my name again. No, the bitter actor, did I say that? The little actor stated that he is the one responsible for finding Justin Bieber's writer, Pooh Bear, quote, saying, quote, if I was smart, I would have put my 5%ers finder's feet, 5% finder, 5% finder's feet in the contract. But I just wanted my friend to sound better. I wanted to for him to sound black. And now he has an R&B writer that he don't work with nobody but Pooh Bear to this day. But they won't say that. Close quote. Lil Twist further stated that Justin Bieber has to hide when interacting with him saying, quote, he hits me in the DMs. I didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, we smoked a little weed. We both did. We did such and such. We both did. Close quote. Lil Twist. I think what you did was talk too much. Now, an artist by the name of NLE Chopper released a single by the name of Shot of Flow 5 and shot out a post throwing shots at the troll king himself 6ix9ine stating quote I better get more love than a rat I know that close quote before 6ix9ine you know quickly throwing back a response calling Chopper a bum implying that he lives on a street and is broke and saying that he is an imitation not even an original of NBA young boy now as of this writing Chopper's video Shot of Flow 5 has over 2 million views and has one of the hardest gangsters featured in the video that you could find and it ain't Chopper. And you know this gangster. You know this gangster very, very personally. Okay? She represents that gangster in all of our lives. Now, 
Since the debut of the song Trolls, 6ix9ine has been perched atop his rainbow colored tower taking shots at different artists. Now, in one of his latest rants, he started off his attacks with none other than Meek Mill and his connection with fellow federal informant Desiree Perez, the CEO of Rock Nation, illustrating that Meek Mill has also had his hands dirty mingling with informants. He then went on to highlight the fact that Meek Mill is only famous because of his connection to Nicki Minaj. Yes, during his rant, he stated, quote, look, Nicki took you on tour. You were her opener, 6ix9ine said. He also said, Nicki made you, you nigga. No, B, wanted to F, no, man, can I get my, let me put my reading glasses on. Nicki made you, nigga. No B wanted to F you, nigga. Did you forget who you was? Listen, I forgot what Drake said. What did Drake say? Some ish like that. Is that your tour or your girl's tour? That was never your tour, homie. Listen, you was put on by Nicki Minaj and you rolling with rats now. But you know what? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody's going to be like, oh, you're with a rat every day. You're with the rat. Your prison reform, your bail reform is with a rat. Oh, no, she wasn't street. She was selling kilos of cocaine. You don't want nobody to know close quote now this is quite a twist in events because it was always believed that meek mill was going to be the one taking the kill shot and i think we're still kind of sort of waiting for such a thing now the federal informant wasn't done when he also targeted future and snoop for sharing a bed with rats now as you already know 6ix9ine and snoop have been trading shots for quite some time concerning this topic of snitchery and we posted a story yesterday concerning future's involvement and his statement that snitches and their friends should perish now the double agent expressed that the whole house of hip-hop is infested with rats and stated to future quote you rap about Molly, Perks, all this ish. Never got locked up for no drug offense, he said. Ever? You say, if you hang out with a rat, you're a rat. So what does that make you? Because you hang out with these niggas. Before I became a rat, I did it on my own. Think about that. So if you're chilling with a rat, makes you a rat. You're an effing rat. Close quote. Pulling a hypocrisy car on future before putting Snoop back in his rainbow crosshairs and saying that the West Coast King privately direct messaged him, waving a white flag, talking about he didn't want no smoke. Now picture this for a second. Snoop talking about he don't want no smoke. Gucci Mane came through Thursday night with two posts of significance. One post seems to highlight an issue which looks like something that we'll be covering more in depth in the future. But the post said, quote, all artists, let's go on strike. F these racist behind labels, burn them down too. Hashtag black lives matter. Hashtag black execs matter. F these crackers, black heart, emoji, money bag times four, or four money bags, close quote. Now the exterminator also broke out the fumigation wand on social media calling for biological warfare on snitches, haters, and polite racists. Cause you know in the South, you get a little racism with a little Southern hospitality on the side. Gucci posted the following, quote, to all snitches and my haters, and the most polite racist ever. I pray y'all die of coronavirus, close quote. Throwing up prayers to the most high in the hopes that the world could be purged of racist behind hating snitches. Now we all knew 6ix9ine was not gonna let that one slide when he posted back to Guap, you fell off since Ray Smurd's Black Beatles. Now this is a song that peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 all the way back in 2016, essentially letting him know that he was hot stuff four years ago and now he's pretty much washed up. Now. To shut the whole thing down for today, we got Lil Wayne holding us down with his recent interview with Nicki Minaj, who many suspect was hiding a baby bump. Now, if you check that not safe for work uh, picture of Nicki Minaj with the with the silver jacket on, the puffy jacket and the silver whatchamacallit, a lot of people were focusing on that stomach of hers, which might have looked like 
a baby bump. Now, Wayne spoke with Nikki about being at the top of the charts over Elvis. Yeah, man, Elvis, move on over, sir, slide on over. Nikki spoke about her pulling back from social media due to its toxicity. Something tells me it's largely connected to the, you know, 6 9 snitchery thing. And they also spoke about how statements made on social media from celebrities can have the heavy influence on public perception and crowd thought. She stated that sometimes when celebrities make a statement, everybody begins to think the same thought kind of like you know the masses are sheep type of concept now they also spoke about a possible collab when Tunchi asked about doing a track with Nikki Nikki responded saying your wish is my command I could imagine how many people would love to hear Nicki Minaj tell them your wish is my command now he definitely um, congratulated her on being married and she highlighted the fact that she was intimidated being a feature with Wayne because she has to write her lyrics in comparison to Lil Wayne who could do it on command at the drop of a dime. Quite a talent you got there, sir. She plugged her video trolls and both stayed far away from the topic of 6 9 and all the negative press that surrounds him yo man let us know what you think is young buck pulling a 50 cent fronting like he's broke when he really has money and is he really or is he really living off his lady and do you think lil twist was really justin bieber's drug mule or is the little guy just looking for attention? Yo, man, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Make sure you tune in to Celeb Source next time. Your source for Celeb News.